Hello and what is up everybody? Today I'm really excited to share with you a highly requested recipe by my family members actually. And it's actually not my recipe, it's my sister's recipe. So this is yet another Capsa video. Welcome to my channel and let's get started. First of all, I need to uh, cook the chicken first. That's what I do. Uh, we need some herbs. This is bay leaves and this is an onion and I use rosemary as well. You can use uh, sage, cinnamon, cardamom, whatever you want guys, whatever in your kitchen. So yeah. And what I basically do, I uh, put them in a cloth and I throw that cloth in the, uh, in the pot with the chicken. And this is the chicken. I'm using a whole chicken. Use the chunks that you want. And I'm going to add water to the chicken and let it cook pretty well. First, I'm going to show you how to make a really quick sauce called the goose sauce. And uh, we need two tomatoes, three cloves of garlic and one chili pepper and also salt and pepper and uh, some spices of your choice. Also, you need some olive oil. And this is it after I blended it in a blender. I washed my rice with water and then I soaked it in water as well. <laughs> uh, and this is actually uh, this step is before I start working or start doing anything. Uh, now heat vegetable oil and add two onions. Now keep stirring the onions until they are um, a little bit golden. And this is chili pepper. Actually they are dried. I dried them myself. And then after that what I'm going to do is uh, put the onions aside and then, and then I'm going to add um, I think five or six cloves of garlic. <laughs> they are crushed by the way. Uh, I can't remember how much I added. And basically just keep stirring the garlic until they are golden brown and then uh, mix everything all together. Look at the onions, they just look absolutely perfect. Now I'm going to add tomato sauce that I made at home myself as well. Uh, you can use uh, fresh diced tomatoes instead. Um, use like two or three, like yeah, just depending on how you like the sauce to be. Now let the sauce cook and add a little bit of water to it because I don't want to burn it. Let the sauce cook and simmer and we will get back to it. Now the chicken is well done. So what I'm gonna do is add some spices to it. Uh, I've got here um, Kepsis spices mix that I buy from the supermarket. But if you want to know what I do really add to my Kepsa, please make sure you check out the other Kepsa video that I made. Uh, it contains all the uh, kind of spices that you would add to Kepsa. Uh, and also I added a little bit of pepper to the chicken water. Also I added the same kind of spices to the sauce. 
make sure that you um, get a really high quality and fresh spices otherwise your capsule wouldn't really taste nice now stir the sauce now I'm gonna add the chicken chunks and add the rice after I let it drain by the way spread the rice and guys now this is very important the ratio if you are a beginner it's your first time cooking the rice you didn't you have no idea how to cook the rice every cup of rice needs a cup and a half of water the chicken water of course not just water and um, bear in mind that your rice might need less or more depending on the quality of the rice and the brand of the rice so all you need to do is just make sure that the water is one centimeter above the rice for me I never measure the water honestly because I just know how much it needs and um, every cup of rice needs one teaspoon of salt remember those and you'll always get your rice like professionals always add the salt with the water not with the rice and just something else to note um, sometimes I just add less water and what I basically do is taste my rice at the end and see if it needs more water and I add hot water to it and then I let it cook again and this is the final step I added a little bit of ghee And now when you see holes in your rice like so and it's a little bit wet now it's time to cook the rice on a very very low heat and what I basically do is lower the heat and add this metal uh, tool that comes with all stoves I think and um, yeah it's just to spread the heat and yeah it just I don't know it does something that is good so that's why I do that I got that from my mom by the way and now I'm gonna roast some almonds as you can see my almonds are peeled same for raisin I roast the raisin and they look really satisfying because they becomes like they become like balls as you can see they're so cool and this is the capsules done it looks incredibly amazing it's just so beautiful now I just you know do something to make it look better and I add the uh, roasted nuts you can use cashew you can I don't know just do you and do what you love when you look at your capsule and it doesn't have green color it i don't know I, I just didn't like it it has to have a little bit of green in it and it's parsley now look at that look at that oh come on it just looks amazing beautiful beautiful i'm sorry if you are hungry and watching this apologies guys The chicken is so tender I mean like guys just didn't, didn't think that oh it's boiled it has got no flavor y you're wrong actually it's so tasty and it's so tender and it goes really well with the capsule and this is the sauce that I made at the beginning it's so chilly and it it's amazing with capsule also uh, uh, we eat salads with it like yogurt cucumber salad 
I'll put it in the eye so please go and check it out I hope you really enjoyed this video guys because I enjoyed filming this video and I enjoyed eating kips as well so yeah if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe that would help me a lot and we'll speak to you very soon bye bye